So in this video I will show you the how to install the Opcom. Opcom or Voxcom is, is I think it's the same same software just Opcom is for the Europe, it's for the Opel and the Voxcom is for the Voxels. But the system is the same. So let's choose the lot last one the 2014 oh it's already open over here so uh, just the install. As you can see, actually, it's uh, Voxcom, it's not Opcom. The interface. And it's uh, it's not Genie, it's a uh, China clone, so I think they are actually doing the same, same work, same thing. Same functions. And there, yeah, the tablet as well is the two in one. It's Android and the Windows 10. And I bought it only for the for the text testing, playing around with the with the softwares, the car programming softwares. So. so yeah, as you can see, there is a car prog. That's is that's I installed a little bit earlier than, and it's. Uh, but for I need it, it's for the ret retrieving the car code from from the ECU unit. What is this? I suppose no, it's a box, so let's go for it. So I guess let's go look. It's a dryer package, so let's extract it out. So let's try it. What is gonna show? I just see. It. Ah, yeah. The the thing is, you can run only as an administrator, so you have to use run as an administrator. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Start it up and okay. Let's put the settings and enable to full screen mode. Apply settings and diagnostic. We have to first check is it uh, connecting with the interface. For some reason, it's not responding. So I got the Opcom interface. I don't know which version, but that we're gonna find out when I'm gonna connect. So as you can see, there show the please, please connect your interface to the USB port or install the USB driver. So let's connect it. So for connection, I'm using the uh, mini USB to the normal USB adapter. So let's connect it and let's press OK. So as you can see, the power is on. It's probably won't gonna show you 
straight away the interface because normally actually they're asking for the install the USB drive drivers some reason it's quite slow so connect so yeah probably because you need to install the USB drivers so let's do that all you have to do go to the my computer right click with the mouse or if you're using the tablet just hold it and uh, manage It's not open now. And there's that folder, so that's why you don't need it anymore. So, okay. Let's manage the device. So, you have to use choose the device manager. And as you can see in here, Opcom USB. And you can see now. There is the. missing you see there's a exclamation mark so all you have to do click it on with the tablet you have to update update the so driver software and don't select the search search automatically with browse of your from your computer and you can choose automatically from the folder it included the sub folders but again he the probably most most of the time is it's not found not finding the the driver so I'm clicking separate the, the bottom one and then have a disk and choosing from the forger as you can see the forger is actually it's same Voxcom and sub forger sub forger is the drivers so drivers and there is the two drivers under it so choosing the the first the bus one and okay next sure and as you can see windows successfully uploaded update updated your driver and as you can see in uh, usb ports this everything is okay but we still got the usb serial port and you have to do the, again the same same thing as done before go all the way through and you have to just all you have to do is uh, pick the other driver the bottom one the first we, we choose the first one now now the bottom one open okay next sure and you, as you can see windows successfully uploaded update updated your driver and now as you can see there is no any errors the interface is connected and there is no any any errors all clear clear free from the errors so that's it what i didn't show that actually you can first check the your interface testing interface is over here in settings and So and here you can see the then I can, uh, interface test ended successfully and the uh, interface version is the V0199. That's pretty much it. So see you in the next videos when I'm gonna test the, the software. We'll play around with my car.